we got our baits out of that bass then well you guys know we don't waste nothing well let's put them in there and see if anybody wants look like Aunt Esther. oh Aunt Esther say well she'll take that flathead or not she like bass too gotta reel this monster in gotta get this monster in here what is that thing? Oh. That's the same hen that ran me off last time I was over visiting. If I was brave enough, I'd go over there and get me an immediate rematch. I think I'll let her have it. I think I'll let her have it. <laughs> DJ said he's coming right into y'all screen. <laughs> he says take that. He don't care if your TV's wet, flat screen or not, he said. <laughs> Y'all, look under there, see if y'all see them. Do y'all see them? Yeah. We ought to take one, cook one, and we'll take the other and grill him up the same way. Crash Creek, back in with another one. And today's my birthday. This video's gonna be all about me. Enough that all lady, let's fish. Let's go fishing. Birthday girl's already back to wearing them out. She snatched this one up and handed me the rod to take them off. She's back after it again. CJ and DJ waiting their opportunity. They want some tape. Whoa, look like Skylar's hooked up. She says she's hooked up. She's getting them in here. Oh, what is it? What is it? Tiny little guys here. Just right, just right bait size. Just right bait size. Hand size. There go your birthday gift. Hand side. Yep, just an old fashioned whooping out here on this riverbank. Well, it ain't much of a riverbank, but I'm laying the smack it down nonetheless. Let's catch another one. I asked Mama, and she said that this little guy was a fun sizer. Yep, oh, oh, snap! What is the size of let's, that thing? Let's see if we can get him on up here. Now. That thing is a monster. That thing is a monster. Is that arm size or fat or is it another hand yeah. size? Yeah. Well, what we did was we just old fashioned put him in the wacky reed lace up. And he had to have that old worm. Well, good fit. Happy birthday, Skyla! Yeah. I got something to say too. If you ever caught that size fish, you better get him. And you better get a huge one for a huge bait. And a huge cake. Whoa, whoa. And a huge well, cake. Well, you gonna be able to hold them, boy? Ooh, it looks right. What y'all wanna do? Y'all wanna turn them loose? Turn yeah, them. I well, give, them, give them to Skylar. It's yeah, her birthday. She can put them back. Yeah, I wanna feed them to the bigs. You wanna feed them to the bigs? No, let them loose. Here, there we go. I you wanna turn them back? Mm-hmm. Well. I have a rock. I have a rock. See, I told you that guy. Oh, hold them now. Let's let him go. Let's go. Let's go. Bye. Get real. She drugged that one up. I was just getting ready to tell y'all what we're doing today. And, uh, well, it's a homestead channel, but it ain't going to be too much homesteading on this one. We've got a couple errands we got to stop and make, but we're going to do some fishing first. And we'll let y'all see some chickens in a minute. Let's get this guy off. Oh, she's hooked up. She's Bring another monster. one in. Yeah. Know, back. Look like Skylar said not so fast on her birthday. She's going to even the scorecards up. Yeah. No one's going to beat me on my oh, birthday. Yeah. What do you say? No one's going to beat me on my birthday. Y'all caught anything yet? <laughs> that's, that's, is that a fish? Is yeah. that a bait? <laughs> <laughs> looks more like bait. Look like flathead bait, don't it? I know, it does. We got a big bass, too. That was a big fish right there. I'm hanging on the wall. Okay. Have <laughs> fun. Thank you. Let's get him off there. Thank you. Well, I got to slow that heart rate down now because I thought he was coming over here to give me a ticket. If you was watching this thing, well, whoa. Well. If you was watching this thing, well, sometimes I had to outrun them guys. Here you go. Hold it over there. Ooh, this guy's mad. Beautiful day. Got a big one. Hooked up. 
Looks like you got a fairly good sized piece of grass there. Big size grass, mama. Everybody likes a little grass. Baby, uh, what's one of these guys thought said was next? Mm -hmm. I think it was this one. You gonna take his life? Yep. And send him out there, what are you gonna catch? Yeah. Mm, I don't know. I bet he told him. I bet he have a driver license. Tell it warm. His, his license probably revoked. That's probably why that sheriff pulled up here. We're going to bait him up. He's broke too many laws. He broke the license. We're jigging them guys backwards now. Maria's been tapped out. Uh, Sky was still holding up pretty good for now. It won't be long well before she needs a pack of Skittles and maybe a sun kiss. I don't know. I'm going to see if I can catch me some here on this edge. Let's pitch him back out there. On the edge of that grass. I want to go fishing with my loving family and do a grill out. Why? Because I never get to spend time with them because mm -hmm. of school. I understand that. I understand that. And it's your eighth birthday, right? Right. So I'm eight years old. And you said most eight-year-olds on their birthdays would be doing what? Playing LOLs with yeah. Barbie. Yeah. And why aren't you at home playing LOL with Barbie? Because I want to spend time with my family, and that's just spending time with me. <laughs> she's getting a little nibble as she's waiting this thing out. And, uh, well, we're having a good time for her eighth birthday, and she thinks we're just out here fishing. Doing a lot more than that. Let's catch another. So, what did you think about your um, birthday fishing trip? Great. It was the best thing in the world. It's better than the boys' birthday fishing trip. Don't tell CJ. He'll get really bad. <laughs> I told you. Did you wear them out? Better than they did. Mm, how many did you catch? Two more than they did. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't seem like he no, agrees. No, I'm in trouble. <laughs> We're out visiting with the puppies on Skylar's birthday and all. We're going to get these guys fed up. And then from here, we're going to make our way to this area. Well, and check out the chickens and feed some of the chicks, of course. Yeah, we'll get some food in there with them guys. And then from there, well, we'll take care of the chickens and we got to get out of here. We fed them puppies up. We're going to stop in and uh, well, get some of this started here. I believe that's what the little Alabama stuff is used for. I don't know. And uh, we're going to chisel it in here and feed some of these chicks up too. And that way we can get on back to the puppies. Put a little starter and grower in here. Well, hopefully that will fill out well. We'll leave that heat lamp on. Well, another couple of hours or so because the wind's coming in and we don't want them to chill out. We got to have them, you know. Stay warm and coached. Let's get this guy back. We'll check on the puppies and make sure that they finish eating. We took some food out to the puppies, and uh, in the food is your dewormer, well, and what I call your chicken treatment. A lot of times those puppies can pick up a lot of quick viruses from well, ducks and chickens and such. So when we feed, we add a little booster to the puppy food as well. Let's get on moving to the next one. I'm trying to make my way sneak up on these old pigs over here. Well, he said he out of here. He said he don't want to meet nobody. And well, he didn't sign up to meet nobody. This guy's growing out well. Last time I was over here visiting, and they weren't this size. They were a little smaller. And well, they eating some corn and well, old burger every now and then. Y'all ain't above it. Y'all ain't above it one day. Everybody likes old Baconator. You know, that's filling them out, putting a lot of weight on them. Well, Maria's back there laughing behind me, but she likes a Baconator too. I like the setup here on wheels. Uh, Maria and I started constructing something similar to this. And uh, it just allows you to, well, make things mold, make them mold. It supplies good shelter underneath, as you guys can tell. And well, oh, I like the vinyl side on that. Vinyl side here to protect it from the rain here. <laughs> Throw the Buff Orbiter to sleep. We are at the Buff Orbiter Ranch. Let's get on around and visit with some of them guys. See how they feel today. Oh, they said they don't want to do no visiting. They said y'all didn't discuss no visiting. And well, 
they get paid by the hour and they ain't gonna get out here and just shred it for y'all well for nothing they say let's get them on around let's get them guys let's get them guys right on around now. how we got them guys pushed on around well i would stay here with y'all all day long and well yee yah and hee haw about these old chickens but skylar's giving me those side hours behind them and well she says well it's her birthday and it's certainly time to go and she want to eat a little bit of cake let's get moving guys birthday shenanigans part two she says she's being chased well they got those water guns and they after her and they said well you gonna either take this sprayer she run into that rail, they definitely get it. We out having a birthday shenanigans and all. We got these water guns and we've been going at it. And CJ wanted to pause because he said outside of Skylar's birthday, there's something he really need to tell the people. But before we do that, y'all think I should do it to him? Mm -hmm. CJ, tell the people something. Yeah. I got you. Give me that thing for a sec. <laughs> tell the people something. Don't give me that thing for one sec. What do you need to do with it? DJ, DJ. There you go, I got them off of you. Thank you. Now tell the people something. It's good! It's good! I'm going to go ahead and get them. I'm going to go ahead and get them. Look at him. Back him on up. Back him on up. Back up. Back up. Happy birthday. <laughs> yeah, they coming in here and I'm just wearing them out. It's like old school 007. A perfect dog. CJ, here. Come get your weapon back so you can get them. Get your weapon back, CJ. He <laughs> got it. He say the war is on. Oh, guys, he's coming right into y'all's TV screen. He's coming for us. Let's get out of here. <laughs> well, this year for Skylar's birthday, I believe I, my gift was patience. We are here practicing. She's working on being the next uh, Maria Sharapova is what she's working on. I keep on doing this. I don't know what's with the spin move. But I'll let you guys catch it this time, see if she hits it. You ready? Oh, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. I did it. I think I did a couple more bouts of practice. And I go in. Oh, and on breaking news today, Skylar for her birthday is sad. She is making her way down, well, this slippery slope. And that boy there, well, Mr. Good Fergie is wetting it up. It's yeah! Oh, yeah. Woo. On that note here, baby girl, oh, selfie man. mode, you better take on off. I dropped it. I think I broke my butt. We finally made it here to the grill. I've been asking Chris all day, can we please come eat some hot dogs? And I was telling him, I was gonna, trying to explain to him how hot I'm about to get these coals. About as hot as I am with him for sitting at that fishing bank for so long. Whoop. Well, now that the grilling is over, well, it's time to get into the good stuff now. Uh, we've got Uncle Jacob in the house here, and uh, he's going to sing the, the birthday uh, hymn for us. Tenor style, from the tenor section. Everybody on the count of three. Well, we don't have any candles. Let's get this thing fired up. Right there. Right, right in the green grass there. Life's not the bread to take. Yeah. All right, ready? in and out. Yeah, let's get out. Everybody, everybody in position. Up. Everybody in position. Yeah. Right. Don't blow out the candle. This is Skylar's. That's right. A good in part three. What is that? Got the bonfire lit, and I call over the girls. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Did you wish? That's All right. 
Get them baited up. Well, five minutes in, people. And I didn't even get a chance to tell y'all we back again with another one. And uh, Maria thinks she's going to whoop us, and that ain't the way it's going to happen. Let's get this guy in. We might use him for bait. We don't know. Nonetheless, one zero. Well, if you guys seeing that right, they may not be catching many fish, but they're out here catching each other. Maria and Marquise here, they all tangled up. And... Uh, <laughs> we gonna put this one on the blooper reels. <laughs> Gotta reel this monster in. Gotta get this monster in here. What is that thing? Oh. She got him reeled up too tight. He gonna come off there before I can show him the new ones. But we reel really some hooked up to another one. We gonna get him in. We might use this guy for bait. We don't know. That's the old channel cat. Three nuts, she say. Get back at him. saw how the fishing ended up and well it's over for now but i've got to make my way back to the homestead well we'll see of course i'm gonna do a little more fishing and uh after that guys well we're gonna get some feed and feed these animals up come on with us well we got a feed and all we're gonna get back feed them animals up and uh we ain't gonna let the fishing end in right there we're gonna drop them baits back down see if we can get hooked up again we made it to our next area here and uh we got to get some things purchase and some errands run before we can do some fishing and all uh we're not gonna let it in like that i've got to go back and try to get hooked up but uh for now let's get a couple of these puppy vaccines well we got to take care of that litter dog once we get that knocked out well, we'll get back to the fishing y'all come on with us all right guys by that view behind me clearly we made it back to the homestead we're done with the chores well got to keep that wind and sun out my eyes uh we're not gonna let it end the way you guys saw it at the river we're gonna make a couple casts out here and well see if we can get you guys hooked up and well something worth seeing we don't know but uh we're also gonna take advantage of well feed me homestead as well so you get to see some chickens and pigs again on this one but uh i bought you guys out because i wanted to show you guys i got this old spotted bass i'm gonna get that head off of them well maybe a middle section there and we're gonna cast them out well while we knock out the chores on the homestead here we got to get over here and do some feeding and all enough i decided i ain't gonna leave you guys behind we appreciate you guys stopping and checking out every one of our videos and uh we appreciate you guys following along this far well to the two or three subscribers that we got that still watch these things well god don't sleep let's get this guy casted out all right guys there's the baits i told you guys we'd be presenting to them today uh bass up top a uh, big body hunk down low uh you guys know what's next
Well, bait's going down. Let's see if we can get hooked up. We got our baits out of that bass then. Well, you guys know we don't waste nothing. Well, let's put them in there and see if anybody wants them. Look like Aunt Esther. Oh, Aunt Esther say, well, she'll take that flathead or not. She like bass too. Let's get our feed, guys. We're going to get these guys fed up. Well, we got that feed in there. And uh, I'm making my way back to the chicks here. Got to feed them guys up. But I had to turn on that camera well to let y'all know. Well, look how many coming in there. God don't sleep, guys. And uh, anybody struggling with anything, he'll turn it around. I guarantee it, it will. Listen, we're going to put some feed in here. But I got to introduce them. Well, I want to show y'all one. Let me see if I can get them coming on here. They don't really like me that much, but we'll see if we get them coming on in here in a minute. Well, I finally got it on, guys, and I finally got the hen in the picture I wanted to show you guys. Well, that old brown one right there coming right in the middle of your TV screen, well, that's old two pink lines. Two pink lines. Well, don't act like you's above it. If we got any dads on the channel, you know how it is, well, when you're sitting in that old bathroom, and, uh, well, she tell you it's late, and you got to sit around and wait on two pink lines. Most scared time of your life. Well, you start planning and trying to evaluate what you're going to do for the next nine months or so. And uh, that time flies by. Next thing you know, you look up, you're wearing them funny scrubs. That doctor say you're doing all right, and you got to do your best just to be tough. And, uh, well, after the procedure's over, you got to stay in there two or three days. Well, we got some dads on the channels. You, you guys know how it is. You got to stay in there two or three days and sleep on that old uncomfortable couch. Well, and then all of a sudden, there's two pink lines there. Then all of a sudden, you're taking that old slow drive home, trying to drive careful, make sure you don't juggle that baby too much in that back seat. Then after that, shortly comes the training. And well, five or six years go by. And after those five or six years go by, well, I hadn't experienced what comes next. Well, they say next thing you know, you look up and you got a yard full of your kids' kids. Well, that's how fast they say it goes. Well, I didn't get to record these guys last time. If you guys can see over there, she's got her babies and well, they're starting to eat and all. Well, I had an old black one in here, but he didn't make it. Uh, I think I'm going to let, I think Maria's going to let me adopt one of these other babies. Well, honestly, I'm thinking about that right down there. Well, I'm thinking about naming him NASCAR. Well, you ain't above it. You know how it is. Well, when you got a fast car, well, you think you know everything. Woo. Gone are the days. I remember my fast car. Well, it was a Saturn with a sunroof. Dual overhead cam. I'm going to step in here and feed these old ducks and all. Some of you might have chuckled that old Saturn. But, uh, well, don't underestimate it. At least I thought it was fast. Ooh, four-cylinder. I'd race any of you watching this thing right now in that old Saturn. Well, I don't know. I'd probably lose. We got to get in here and feed these old ducks up, huh? Well, speaking of which, y'all see that loose egg back there? Well, I meant it. I'd race anybody watching this thing in that old Saturn. Well, and I guarantee I'd win. Well... That old Saturn of mine, I won't make my way to this old duck even. That old Saturn of mine, well, I totaled that sucker. Well, flipped it upside down and it didn't stop rolling. Well, until it propped up against some old tree and all. They got a nice nest going. Well, by the time the ambulance come down and the emergency team got it out of that tree, well, that old Kenny Chesney was still playing. Yeah, that's the good stuff. I never forget how he was singing to me. Nehemiah, we don't care. Don't come in here bothering us. None. Well, kids, if you're watching this thing, slow down around them curves and, well, always stop completely. Don't just tap your brakes. You take it from me. Now, that's back when I knew it all. We got one more area here where we got to feed these guys. Well, that old black rooster say he coming on in here. Well, the honey's in here are gold in color, he say. Well, this is where you'll stay. But, uh, let me go check on him. Let me go check on my old broody hen here. And I need to see if it decides it wants to hatch off the ducks or not. Well, she says she's lost in. And she don't care if it hatches off ducks, peacocks, quails, or guineas. She's going to raise them nonetheless. Y'all hear that old loud pig behind? I wonder what kind of cured bacon he makes. Ooh. Let's get over here and feed these pigs. We ain't wasting our time with that game no more. Look like they're hungry. Let's open it up. Honey, that's the how you doing? You just as lucky as ever, man. Let's get some food back off here now. They need some old kern, what they say they need. They say they don't have time to reminisce and meet nobody on the channel. They ain't interested in no subscription, none. And they don't care about no monetization or nothing. They said, give me the kern. So what I typically do in this pen is, well, 
I pour them some out over behind them like y'all seen me do there. And then I'll translate the rest with them. Right here in this old hand-built trough. Amish sawmill. Amish sawmill. I believe my buddy up there, well, in old Etheridge up in old Tennessee and all, at the Amish. I believe his name is Menu. I think he gave me that wood to make that thing. Let's get on out of here. She says she's raising those layers all right, and she's trying to keep them all corralled up and together, but she says it's hard. Them predators are after, and well, them babies of hers right there are always in the refrigerator. Well, if we got any parents on the channel, you know how it is when school lets out. Well, they want to drink, and then they want a snack. Well, and then five minutes later, they want to repeat the same action. Woo, I'm thinking about putting a master lock on my refrigerator. All right, guys, obviously I was kidding. Well, I got to watch it because some of you will take some of the stuff I say on this channel, well, a little too literal and, well, I'll start getting text messages and phone calls about it. I won't put no master lock on it. I won't do them like that. But, well, I might put a combination lock on it because CJ always has to have something to drink. Let's feed these guys up. Well, I mentioned the combination lock and the reason being, I think with a combination lock, well, you give somebody more of a fair chance to get in there and pick that thing and get what they need. Well, if we got any young children watching the channel, well, and you've ever been grounded before, you know how it is. Well, you got to wait till mom and dad go off to work or figure out a way to get up in there and, well, get it, whatever it is you're grounded from. Well, if it's your cell phone, well, you got to find it. You got to go in the closets and tear it up and uh, make sure you put it back before they get home. Woo. Gone all the days on that. I got that rod there casted out. Well, the bite's slow. I've got a bass on there. And, uh, the only way we'll come back here is if that thing gets hooked up. Let's go feed the rest of them. Well, next we got to feed the fish here in the aquaponics tank. We got a little bit of everything in there. I don't know if you guys caught some of the fishing shorts we do out of this thing. We've got goldfish in the bottom of there. We've had koi in there, and there's some carp in there, and catfish and all. Well, and red ear sunfish, a shell cracker, hand size. And I gotta stop in and feed these guys. Well, they're part of the homestead too, and uh, they have a purpose as well. All you can see right now is some of the bait fish coming up, and uh, we'll get some more food in there. And get them guys coming on up. We've made it back out, guys. Wind's picking up, and well, that rod sat there a long time with no action at all, guys. We're pulling those baits in, and as you guys saw, it's been a slow day of fishing all around on this thing here. Well, the boat and I had to be pulled in with that rope there, and well, Maria's gonna have to, she gonna have to come out here and pull me in off this bank slow day of fishing. Thanks for spending the whole day with me on my birthday. We'll see you next year. Thanks for watching.